Hey, it's Larry Herb, Xbox Live's Major Nelson here at E3 with Dan Mayer from the UK. Dan, one of the big announcements at E3 this week was, of course, Halo Combat Evolved, the Anniversary Edition, and Halo 4. Yeah, we spoke to Dan Ayub and Frank O'Connor from 343 Industries to see how the stewards of Halo are approaching these exciting new projects. This is the game that defined a generation of shooters, that created a generation of shooters. Halo Anniversary is going to be a remastered version of the original Halo that everybody loved. Really key to us in development, though, is to make sure the game played as well as the original. Everybody has, you know, very fond memories of the first time they played Halo 1. Uh, for many people, that was their first console experience playing a shooter. Uh, we've announced some new things as well. Uh, we've announced Classic Mode, which is the ability for you to swap back and forth between the classic version that you remember from 10 years ago and the new remastered version, which is really cool. Personally, my favorite feature. Uh, terminals, we're going to be seeding some story for some future fiction through the terminals. It's something that's existed in Halo fiction for a while. Fans really like it, so we're going to be utilizing that to tell a little bit more of the story. And achievements, I mean, you know, Halo is coming onto the 360, so you're finally going to be able to complete your achievement records around the Halo franchise. We've got a multiplayer experience where we've taken, you know, the best multiplayer maps from the first games, done the same thing, made them look great, made them feel great, and uh, we're giving that to the fans as well. So they're going to have their campaign experience, as well as, you know, some of our favorite multiplayer maps from the history of Halo. This is something that's been really close to our hearts here at 343. Again, the community's been asking for this for a long time. We're going to celebrate the 10th anniversary of Halo, and, you know, I'm just thrilled. And Frank O'Connor had this to say about the Halo 4 announcement. You know, as the, uh, the occasional story leaked about the Halo Combat Evolved remake, uh, we were quietly smiling because we knew that was helping keep uh, Halo 4 secret. It's been difficult to keep secret for a lot of practical reasons, it's hard to keep things secret, but it's been difficult for a very large team to go home at night and have dinner and not really explain to their spouses or their family what it is that they're actually working on. If you've seen the trailer for Halo 4, you'll understand that, uh, at least from the trailer's perspective, it's a very direct continuation of the Master Chief's story arc, uh, and uh, people who played to the end of Halo 3 will be completely familiar with at least some of the objects and locations. Um, there's a lot of stuff hidden in that trailer for people with uh, a, a careful eye for detail. And there's uh, a lot of things hidden away in it that will actually pay off in the future. We're not going to talk about those now, but we've planted some Easter eggs in that trailer that should be pretty satisfying for fiction fans in the future. So it's called Halo 4. It's right there in the name. It's a sequel to Halo 3. Um, the events take place uh, in the time frame directly after Halo 3. But as we hinted, uh, during E3, this is the first of a trilogy, um, and uh, it's a, a story arc that we've been working on for a number of years now that we have planned out into the very, uh, very far future, um, certainly in terms of game development time, but also in terms of the story arc. And we've been, as I mentioned before, we've been seeding pieces of that story up to this point, so some people are already going to have some clues about the directions we're taking the Halo universe if they've been absorbing fiction from other places. Stay tuned to Inside Xbox for all your E3 coverage. Thanks very much for watching Inside Xbox.